I actually did take a tour of the studio. Y'all, I'm so nervous. This is the TV. Emergency is my best friend. It is my lifeline, and she is the moment. <laughs> yeah, it did. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Y'all, I just got back from F45. I thought Hell Week was bad. They are busting ass 24 seven all day. My arm hurts right now just holding this camera, okay? I actually did take a tour of the studio. The coach was also new. She was really, really nice. If y'all can see on my shirt, I am literally breaking a sweat. Like. Do you see the back of my shirt right now? Disgusting! Disgusting! So I'm gonna have to change my shirt before I go out today. I am going <laughs> to go Christmas shopping once again. I have gone Christmas shopping a thousand times during the span of the past couple of weeks, like two weeks, honestly. I have so much Christmas decor. Let me explain what's going on in my apartment right now. So it's a little messy right now. This whole situation right here is all of my fall decor. Hi, Lucky, I got him a new toy. <laughs> this is dirty laundry that I need to do. This is the letter board that's normally in my room. I wanted to paint it black because I feel like it goes better with the room aesthetic. So I painted it black. Over here are some dishes I need to put away into my seasonal boxes over there. This right here <laughs> is actually matte paint for the DIY project, but also for something bigger. And that is inside of my room. So this little painting right here, <laughs> this whole situation is basically a DIY project that I decided to do. I ended up buying this canvas off of Amazon. I got some spackle just put it all over the painting. I was watching a couple tutorials on YouTube on how to do it. I spackled it, and then after I spackled it, I ended up spray painting it black, but the spray paint does not layer the way that I wanted it to, so I ended up buying acrylic paint and painting over top of that spray paint, and that's how I ended up getting this situation right here. I tried to hang it on top of my bed yesterday, but it was too high up for my liking. My dad had jokes because it's all black. You can't really tell that it's textured until you get up close. And he asked me if that was a TV <laughs> on top of my bed. No, it's my painting, leave me alone, okay? My mom told me to sign it, so I signed it with my signature. I had a fear of me like moving my arm up past the headboard and it hitting the painting, but I'm gonna try to do it about six inches above the headboard. So we're gonna see how that goes. I feel really bad just making any sort of extra noise in my apartment. I get like really paranoid about it. I just don't like disturbing others. And I really don't like anything to do with like, if I'm building furniture, I'll do it like really quietly or like early in the day, like when I first moved in. It's 1 p.m. right now, or about to be 1.30, so it's a decent time. I'm going to hammer this in. I did it yesterday too, and that's why I feel kind of awkward, because they're gonna know that I failed to hang this up, because I'm gonna be doing it again. These are the things I think about, okay? I am planning on getting a TV in my room, you guys. I know I said in my moving vlogs that I didn't want to get a TV in my room and I didn't need one, but I am planning on mounting my living room television, hopefully next week. I'm trying to mount it before I decorate for Christmas in my apartment, because I really want to decorate the TV stand. So. With that, I also wanted to put a TV in my room as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do it at the same time, but I really just wanna have a TV in here. I don't like staring at my iPad every day, and I feel like that's not the best for my vision. So I think I'm gonna put like a little 50 inch TV up here and just have them hang it. So yes, basically I'm going to rehang this painting right here. Probably change my shirt because I didn't realize I was gonna sweat this much. Um, and then I'm gonna go Christmas shopping a little bit. These are all my decorations right now, you guys. It's a bit absurd. And the crazy part is I'm not even done yet. I just love Christmas so much. I've been seeing this snowflake pillow and I think it's sold at like Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, one of those for literally like $70. And they have it at Hobby Lobby for 10 right now because of half off. I saw it the first time I went on Friday, which was literally only like two days ago, three days ago. I ended up getting ornament pillows for my couch, but I really want to get the snowflake ones too. I didn't get them in the moment because I was like, I don't need them, but I keep thinking about them and I'm scared that they're going to sell out. So I'm going to go try to see if they have them. If they don't, it's not the end of the world, but if they do, I'm definitely we're gonna pick them up today because I don't want to I'd rather be safe than sorry and even if I don't use them this Christmas I can always put them in storage for next Christmas all right let's go hang this painting y'all I'm so nervous what if it's just crooked okay cute this is way better okay this looks so much better to me it's more center with the wall I bought a new seasonal from Target this is the Starbucks peppermint mocha. I still have 
the pumpkin spice latte in the fridge, but it's just a peppermint mocha day if I'm going Christmas shopping, right? I actually just recently got this bag from Home Goods, and if you're wondering what that noise is, they are the threshold, I think bells from target i'm planning on returning them i went online yesterday night and it said that they had silver bells that look exactly like those at hobby lobby and i actually ended up going to michael's they are these like snowflake situations i do like these but i like the aesthetic look of the ones from target better so if i can find silver bells that look exactly like that i might only keep one of the target bells and worst come to worst those bells come around every year they're pretty inexpensive they're 10 bucks but i got those other bells for like four dollars five dollars from michael's and i saw them at hobby lobby for three dollars so we're gonna go see what's up with hobby lobby and the bells because the first time I went to Hobby Lobby, I was kind of in a panic mode. I really just wanted to see if I could get everything that I thought was going to go out of stock. I swear, Katie Vining on YouTube has me in a chokehold right now. I got my bells, got my Starbucks. Let's bounce. to my dog <laughs> it keeps me warm what in the world it keeps me warm <laughs> you got more clothes than me oh that's one we just wore that one so far oh my gosh is this from target that one is yeah i was about to say this looks like target. the one from target <laughs> i went and had a good case and i saw that one in target i was like oh, oh my gosh because tell me why i got lucky um pajamas <laughs> for christmas i just got back from shopping i know you're probably thinking girl this quality is giving a toaster vhs um i am so sorry i think i accidentally pressed something when i was out shopping and it altered the quality of the next i would say 12 to 13 minutes of this video um it's still cute it's giving homemade it's giving handy cam okay so i kept the footage and i did discover that the quality was like this um two days later so <laughs> that's what ended up happening um i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the vlog because i still have a couple of great things to show you guys i got some pretty good things i didn't go crazy i'm gonna show you guys what i got but just know that the full like in-depth christmas decor haul is coming soon but this is my first apartment i wanted to do it right i didn't want to half-ass it so i really did go hard i actually need to get some emergency guys I went to workout class today and whenever I'm around more than 10 people, probably, honestly, really if it's like more than three people unmasked, I take one of these. I try to take one every day regardless, but I, sometimes I forget. So I am taking this. Even if you don't have a compromised immune system, I recommend doing this, especially now because it's cold and flu season. Okay, it's COVID. COVID is still out there. Don't be fooled, babe, okay? Emergency is my best friend. It is my lifeline, and she is the moment. I used to just try to drink this as fast as possible, but that was before I discovered that they have more than one flavor. I thought they only had the orange flavor. I forgot who put me on, but she was like, girl, no, you know they got like 10 other flavors. There's still flavors that I haven't tried yet, but this flavor is the raspberry bomb like i could drink this as a regular drink okay so i went to target last but these are in front of me so i thought i would talk about them ended up returning two of the packs 
kept the one because I didn't find any bells at Hobby Lobby that looked like this. But honestly, the ones in the bowl right now are okay. So I just really wanted to mix the silver and gold. So I kept these. I've been looking for this at three different targets and I finally found it today. This is like the stackable mug. I saw Katie Vining talking about this in her video about the dollar spot at Target. But I also saw this one and I couldn't pass it up. It's so, so cute. $5. And then at Target, I totally forgot that a lot of my ornaments don't have hooks. So I picked this up. I I also got silver ones and then you guys you guys Walmart was having 75% off of their fall decor if you guys saw my fall decorate with me I'm pretty sure in that video I said that I might get pumpkin pillows if I didn't I was thinking it okay I always saw them on Amazon I never saw them in the store at any store that I've been to and I was like I really want these pillows I've seen them guys I saw them at Walmart for like 10 bucks I looked it up to see the price because there's no price tag on the things. So I was like, okay, 10 bucks, not that bad. Let me get two of them. So I pick up two. I get to the checkout. The girl's like, oh, all fall and Halloween is 75% off. I looked at her. I said, oh, really? She scans it. $6 total. These were $3 each. I said, say less. I bought them, turned my cart back around, and I picked up two more. So now I have four of these pillows, and I don't even want to use them right now because you guys know I'm about to decorate for winter. But next fall, when those pillows are $20, I got them for three. I'm going to put them right in storage. I'm actually going to my dad's house at the end of this week, so I'll be able to drop these off there. And then she's not done because you know I had to go to Hobby Lobby again, right? I ended up picking up 10 of each these white kind of creamish picks. And then these taupey bronzy gold picks. I got my hands on the snowflake pillows. So I picked those up. And then the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this angel. I got an angel ornament. My late aunt used to have angels all around her house. Um, so I always just associate angels with her. I have two angels in front of my windows in my bedroom. In my mind, kind of like symbolism to be in front of my window to keep only good things coming forward. I don't know if I'm the only person that thinks like that, but that's why the angels are in front of my window. But when I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I just immediately thought about her. And then last place, you guys, I went to Home Goods. I really wanted to get a black Santa Claus, like just figurine, but all of them had problems. And I don't know why. <laughs> Like they all had like weird paint. I was not planning on getting a throw blanket at all this Christmas. I was just gonna keep my regular, but this one screamed at me. It's such a soft material. If you see this at your home goods, please touch it. And it was only $19.99. This was 20 bucks for this throw. If you feel this in person, it's such good material, such nice quality for 20 bucks is insane. It screams Christmas and winter time without doing too much. Girl, first of all, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is like top tier, one of my favorite Christmas movies. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, Rudolph and Claire Reese, are you joking? I got this because it reminded me of Lucky. <laughs> this is Lucky's first Christmas in my apartment. Lucky is turning 11 years old next year. So he's getting up there, he's an old man. And honestly, I just wanted something to remember his Christmas by in my apartment. So he's had nine Christmases with us. This will be the 10th Christmas, but it will be with me in my apartment. So I'm super excited. And I wanted to get something to commemorate that. So this just screams him, this is like, such as personality just the way that the dog is looking is sending me and it just says mary so that was it you guys that's what i got for today that's what i did when i was shopping everything else was just regular random food and grocery items i am going to put letters on my letter board my letter board dried so this is what she looks like now she is black drink my emergency i'm currently watching a katie vining video again um and maybe watch frosty the snowman later on tonight oh, yeah. My way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Wednesday. 
as you can see behind me, I put up my tree last night. I wanted to put the tree up before I decorated it because normally in my family, we put the tree up and decorate it all in one day and it's too much. Like fluffing it is a workout inside of itself. I actually ended up buying a Belgian waffle maker the other day from Target. All I did yesterday was go outside, shop, there wasn't really a lot. I wanted to see if there was anything at another Home Goods. There wasn't. I also really want to go to Pottery Barn. I can't find a gingerbread that I really, really like. Um, I just don't like the way any of them look. And I really love the way that the Pottery Barn ones look. So I'm going to go pick those up as well. They're also a little bit pricey. But I know I'm going to keep my Christmas decor for years and years to come. All this stuff that I bought, I'm going to put in storage. So anyways, back to the waffle maker. I ended up buying so hungry jack i've actually never used this brand i think the only time i've tasted this when i was younger my mom used to make mashed potatoes with hungry jack but i actually hate mashed potatoes like in general unpopular opinion don't kill me and this kit says all i need to do is add water i do have eggs and oil just in case but it says i just need to add water so i'm gonna go ahead and make this with the belgian waffle maker but before i do i got some packages in the mail so i want to show you guys what i got first package is from macy's i finally got my picks and also, <laughs> there's another Katie Vining video in the back. I'm obsessed with Katie Vining for holiday season, you guys. I saw some weird reviews, but okay, I think I see what they were talking about. So I was looking at reviews on Macy's.com and people were saying that they didn't like these because of the weird wrapping along it. Like it kind of looks like aluminum foil, but at the same time, that's not really the focus of the pick. The pick focus is the ends. So I feel like once I put this pick inside of the tree, the only part that's really going to be showing is the ends. And the ends look really, really nice. So this is like a crystal-y um, pick for the tree. I also ended up getting a shelf from Wayfair. You know, Wayfair is my place. Wayfair does have just what I need, okay? I got my little bar situation pantry from Wayfair. I got my bed set from Wayfair. Like, I love Wayfair. And if you guys saw any of my moving vlogs, I put together literally all my furniture inside my house. So Wayfair is super easy to follow. This is not sponsored. It could be. <laughs> but it's not so I ended up getting a corner shelf for my room I'm going to put this shelf over here because I decided after deliberation that these perfumes I don't want them on my desk anymore also I can finally put my this is like a little galaxy projector and also my hatch alarm I can finally put both of those on the shelf so I have room on my nightstand to not have anything and that's what this is right here so we're gonna build that a little bit later and then the last thing that I got is from Target and these are my throw pillows for my bed they're just these really big Sherpa pillows they feel so good you guys I'm gonna go put this on my bed right now this is so cute it actually perfectly matches the Casa Luna blanket let's get to it first starting with the waffles <laughs> Grandma, yeah, I have an important question. I just made waffles and they were good, but they were not as good as how you make them. <laughs> so I wanted to know the recipe that you usually use. You made waffles? <laughs> yeah, I did. So 
is Monday again and I'm finally getting my TV mounted. The mounter is here. He went downstairs to go get some tools, but this is the TV mount. I moved everything out of the way, have the TV right here. This is my room right now. I have all of my Christmas stuff. After I'm finished with the TV, I'm gonna do my Christmas decor haul. So I have all my Christmas stuff right there. Y'all, it, it became a serious problem. I got some bins for storage for later when I figure out what I'm gonna do with each of the <laughs> decor. But yes, I wanna show you guys the finished product because I'm super excited. I've been waiting to get my TV mounted forever. So I will let you guys see when he's finished. Okay, you guys, it's a couple hours later. Clearly did some light makeup with the bold lip. This is the current situation. Yeah, it's a bit insane. Lucky's ready for his living room back. But the big reveal, you guys, I finally have my TV put on the wall. After being a bit dramatic today because of the way that it was set up, I finally fixed it to my liking and this is the TV. I'm so happy with it. Obviously, I need to do something about this situation right here. I'm gonna get a wire cover soon. But I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. I'm gonna go film my decor haul because girl, I got a lot to get through. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.